What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we got the old Wasp 2-inch cut jackknife. Now this is a two-blade mechanical that we will be testing today. Alright, so this, we wanted to get this in our test last year, but we couldn't. So, naturally we got to get it in now. Now this, this broadhead, what appeals to me is a two-blade design. They actually machined their aluminum ferrule to reduce the surface area on it giving you more accuracy and better penetration because there's less friction. The tip on there is stainless steel trocar tip. It's designed to penetrate right through bone, break it, and keep on going. So we'll test that in the second part of this test. Oh, hey. You gonna like the video? Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. But back to the show. All right, so we got 0 .036 thick stainless steel blades so they're they're going to be durable but we'll see that after first thing we're going to do as you can see we have the ballistic gel set up at 20 yards now i apologize for the wind chimes it's going to be in there it's kind of windy today but first things first ballistic shell 20 yards we'll put one on then we'll take one and put it through the car hood and really test the durability of this broadhead with that stainless steel tip i think it's going to get through good but will the blades hold up they're thick but two inch cut, that's a lot. You're asking a lot to penetrate through a car hood with minimal damage. Okay, as you can see, this is how it is on the head. You have your orange washer. Then the O-ring retention system that they used on the jackhammer transfers to the jack knife. And they say it's a guaranteed deployment, so let's see. So let's talk and let's get to it. Wasp, two inch jack knife, two blade, ballistic shell, 20 yards. Let's see how she cuts. As you can see, you get decent penetration. And it looks like the blades opened up pure, about an inch and a half, two inches in. But all in all, that's a phenomenal wound channel. And on the, let me turn this real quick. Right from the get go, I mean, you get a real good cut, even though the blades didn't open, I would say about an inch and a half. It looks like it took them to get full deployment. But that's a really good cut right out the get-go here. And then when you flip it so you can see the side of the cut. As you can see, I had to move the block so we could get it because this is kind of foggy. We've used this the whole test. As you see all the little tungsten 410 BBs. But as you can see, you have a really good wound channel. And I actually did get some twist to it. But all in all, I mean... That is a phenomenal cut. Now, let me pull it out. Look at that. The O-ring went right back into place. <laughs> Couldn't do that again if I tried. That's crazy. But as you can see where the, the head stopped, the, the blades stopped in deployment, and you can see that wound channel. I mean, all in all, this will definitely get the job done on a whitetail. That's a phenomenal cut good cut on contact even though it was about an inch and a half in before it really got after it even though it was a, yeah you can see it there it was about an inch and a half in before it full deployed but you got a really good wound channel and it's it's kind of hot out so it's starting to narrow down quick but all in all you can't ask for too much more and kind of cool to pull it out and have the o-ring go right back into place so we'll just use this head shoot it through the car hood seems only fitting but ballistic shell the penetration and wound channel was phenomenal with the jackknife now let's test the stainless steel troll car tip and the thick stainless steel two blades see how they hold up through the car hood it's kind of an extreme test but you can see where you're at with your blades all right let's get after it so we shot the gel, it performed excellent. Now we got the car hood, we're at roughly 20, might be 21, but the main importance is how it holds up going through the car hood. I got the Acaso back there, so hopefully we can see it blow through, but let's get after it before the wind blows up and uh, knocks our target over. So here we go.
Well, it blew through. I'm actually pretty pumped to see how it looks on the Acaso, but let's go check her out. Get another look at me. All right, so this is where it hit. You can see it dented it pretty good, cut good, and it blew right, yeah, yeah. She's still sharp. And it blew right through, penetrated into the deer. The backside looks good. There's one big nick, actually two nicks on this blade. This blade is completely intact. It's still sharp. I mean, the head itself is still intact. The O-ring did not make it through on this one. I was kind of hoping it'd be two for two. But the head, the body's good. And looking at all of it, realistically, it held up really well. I mean, the tip is slightly blunted. And besides for those nicks on that right blade, the left blade's completely intact. So all in all, I mean, it held up good for a mechanical head going through a car hood. You can't ask for too much, but that's, that's pretty slick right there. All right, so all in all, the Wasp Jackknife, the stainless steel trocar tip, like I said, it did blunt a little bit, but the edges are still sharp, clearly. And outside of the, the nick right here on this blade, the blades held up really well. I mean, you could, yeah, the blade, I mean, this one's a little warped. The other one is straight, but for a two inch cut and a mechanical, it didn't do bad. I mean, the thorn still has held up the best out of mechanicals. It's just, this broad edge right here, I mean, that's that's pretty slick right there. It'd be nice if the wind would stop. No. All in all, the Wasp Jackknife performed excellent in the durability test through the car hood and in the ballistics gel, both penetration, wound channel, cut on contact, etc. This right here is a pretty good head. If you haven't looked into it, it'd be worthy checking out. I do like that, that ferrule, aluminum ferrule, reducing the size of it to increase your penetration. Although it penetrated about equally with all the other broadheads in that two inch mechanical cut width, all in all, the Wasp Jackknife will get the job done on Whitetail. And honestly, the car hood is an extreme example of durability. So in the field, I think this broadhead would hold up on a pass through, hitting anything you're gonna hit in the woods. So all in all, this is a good broadhead. If you haven't yet, make sure to smash that thumbs up. Drop a comment below if you shoot Wasp. Let us know your experiences. Also, if there's a broadhead you guys wanna see in our test, let us know, we'll do it. We wanna make you guys happy, so let us know what you wanna see. But if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. We upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but we do drop random videos throughout the week anytime just to keep you on your toes. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our uploads. We do it all. We got broadhead tests, pattern tests, whether it be turkey, duck, or goose, and fishing videos. So you're gonna find something you like, I promise. But this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and we got some pattern tests to film. So as always, we will catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.